What is up, Turtle Squad? Welcome to the man house. Okay, you know what? Let's just address this real quick. Oh shit, my finger, my bad. Um, I've been doing my RC videos out here. Um, there's two reasons for that. One, my normal hobby table is a mess. We have a bunch of projects on there, so it's just, it's, it's a no-go. Um, so I am adding space to the man cave where I will have my hobby stuff put up. But it's not ready yet, so we're gonna be doing stuff on the table, and that's okay. But today I got a really cool video for you guys. Um, let's just get into it, that's really all I can say. All right, so today um, we're gonna be looking at our drag build again, we've got the Traxxas Lash two-wheel drive uh, LCG chassis. Um, we are going to be doing a full build review on that. But today I wanted to open this. Uh, I told the guy I would. Um, this is a product from RC Racing Innovations. I believe that's what... Hold on, it's right here. RC Racing Innovations, Steve Nagiri. Um, he, I've met him on RC Drag Racing USA on Facebook. Um... I've seen his stuff. So the drag racing scene for me is new, guys. I've never, before last month, I'd never done any drag racing events. And I, I fell in love with it. I used to do it as a kid. Um, and I used to like, I just like my cars going fast. So when I could do it in RC mode, in a legal way, I jumped at the, at the opportunity. I'm just going to put this knife away. Um... So I've seen Steve's stuff in the past. The main reason I've never gotten anything from him before is because a lot of it was specifically made. They were kits. They were um, for RJ Speed Mods, which is a type of car that I don't have. He didn't have anything specific to my chassis. Um, I wasn't looking to have a conversion done just yet. This is kind of a budget build. Well, it started off as a budget build. It's not so much anymore. But he did finally come out with something that fits what I am running. Um, to give you guys an idea, here's my old one. So this is the wheelie bar. This is a Traxxas wheelie bar. Um, it comes on the Rustler, I believe, but it is, um, you can't put it on the, the Slash. So, oh, look at that. It's so pretty. And I, you guys are going to have to forgive me because I, I have the specs on this, but I don't have them on the top of my, off the top of my head. Oh my God, that's nice. I want to say these are G10, so it's a, it's, it's a plastic material, it's a lightweight, uh, but these are the rails for the wheelie bar. So as you can tell already, they're going to be a lot longer, let me put them up, a lot longer than the Traxxas one. So the main reason that I really enjoy that is because my car tends to flip backwards a lot, and I figured a little bit extra length keeps me keep that front end down, helps me keep that front end down. Um, and I, that's what I was looking for. Um, so this is fully adjustable, well, not fully, but it is adjustable. So it hinges at the top and then the nut goes in here and up and down, right? So you can adjust it. Um, the one thing that I did have to get, so, uh, I, I saw these, I really liked them. So I said, Hey, send me a set and, uh, I'd love to put them on my rig. He did let me know that I would need the RPM. These were specifically designed for the RPM wheelie bar mount. So they aren't going to work. At least I don't think they will, and I will try them for you guys with the the stock uh, wheelie bar mount. That you are gonna need to get the RPM. It was ten bucks on Amazon. I had Prime, I came in no time. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put these together. He did throw in the uh, the bearings that are gonna be your wheels, and I'm gonna see if we can. I, I like to keep it kind of scale, so I'm gonna see if I can run um, our rate our old wheels on our old wheels on it. But we're just gonna go ahead and put this together. There are no instructions, but it's three uh, cross braces and two bearings. I'm sure this shouldn't be too hard. So give me one second. Let me put them together. I'm going to do it off camera just because there's a lot of a uh, son of a, and, you know. So um, this shouldn't take too long. This is very simple. I'll go ahead and explain what I did after. So I'll be right back. So as I'm building this, guys, I'm noticing a couple things. Um, there are going to be some different size screws in there. You are going to get the smaller, and these are all... Yep, they're hex. I believe they're one five. Yep, um, really small ones. There's six of those. There's three cross braces. You can kind of do the math there. 
there's two of these and these are gonna go um so it gives you uh, and i believe these yeah these are 3d printed so that's kind of cool right and so the bearing which is your wheel is just gonna go in there and i want to say the nut goes or the screw goes in there and then he does include two nuts so pretty simple if i did it wrong i guess we'll find out so uh let me put it together and we'll be right back Took a little bit longer than I expected, but that was just because of me. I had I had an install. I wanted to wait to do everything together, so I went ahead and installed. I went ahead and installed the RPM mount. It's not that much different from the uh, the regular mount. It's just kind of shaped differently. So there's the original mount. You can kind of see. So not these outside parts, but the inside. It's just instead of this uh, L shaped one piece it's three pieces um which i kind of like it's a little bit easier uh to inst well, it's not easier to install because that's kind of a pain in the butt compared to the original one but um the original one so these brackets right here um they're not bolted in so i would happen uh, this would happen so often where it would just unhinge and then it would drag so i like that um but getting back to what we're here to see um here's our wheelie bar so this is a wheelie bar RC Racing Innovations. So this is meant for the two-wheel drive Traxxas Slash. Um, it does say LCG on there, I believe, but it should work with the regular one. You just won't be able to get down as low to the uh, to the ground as with the LCG chassis. Um, but that's that's really up to the builder. Um, the one thing, if I had to put, if I had to say something, is they they don't include the hardware to put it on uh, to the car. Not a big deal. They include the hardware that is needed, but for those plug and play guys, not everybody's gonna have hardware, you know, laying around. Um, but not a big deal. That's just me nitpicking, uh, me trying to give you guys my honest feedback, kind of what's going on. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm in love with this thing. I love the way it looks. Um, sorry guys, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find this guy. So I can install. Um, so I just took some three by 10 and three by 20 uh, screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and just install those real quick. Um, the only reason that they're different is if you can look, if you can see there, it's they're just different sizes. So it's not a big deal. Let me go ahead and install that. Um, obviously my wheels and tires are not on. Uh, one thing I, I am also noticing right off the bat, as far as that adjustability, it's very limited, um, not because of the, well, yes, because of the design. Uh, they did the, the adjustability on the bottom, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, um, but I'll show you guys in a minute what I mean. So let me go ahead and install this real quick and I'll be right back. We have just completed uh, installing the RC Innovations wheelie bar onto our two wheel drive tax tractor slash drag car. Um, I don't have the wheels on. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a clip of it with the wheels on with, oh, excuse me, with the body on. Overall, I really like this. So here's what it looks like, right? Really nice design. You want to get a good uh, angle there. It seems sturdy enough doesn't really flex a lot. It does have a little bit of that flex in it, but that's fine because it's a wheelie bar, right? We want it to kind of absorb that, but at the same time be stiff enough to where, you know what I mean, our car doesn't flip backwards. I love the look of it. I like the design, except for one thing. And this is, again, me being nitpicky. Um, well, so, well, so let's say two things. Um, and this is, one is me being nitpicky, two is just kind of, right? So if you guys can see down there, it's slotted, right? So that way we can adjust our wheelbase, or not our wheelbase, our ride height for our wheelie bar. But the when it was milled out, it just it was just a little tiny bit um, too thin. So the three mil screws, it just doesn't want to. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get it to adjust. So I have a feeling that I would have to unscrew everything or you know go with a file in there and do it that way not a huge deal for the more advanced builder your run-of-the-mill guy is going to have some issues there right not everybody's got files and right but the, like i said it's just me nitpicking 
the, the one thing as well for the design. So it is slotted. So and the, take it with a grain of salt because if you go all the way down, this thing's going to be on the ground, you know, kind of at this angle, right? So you wouldn't run it this way anyways. But if you guys can see, if I were to adjust it back right here, it would hit the motor can um, right here. So, you know, it, luckily where it's at right now is actually where I'm going to run it. I like the way it sits there and uh, with some testing, I might adjust it a little bit, but I don't see myself ever needing to go down that far. Um, but like I said, if I had to pick things to choose, if I had to pick things to nitpick at, that's what I would. Um, but other than that, let me go ahead and put the wheels on. Um, our, I got the big 2.8 uh, Proline Primes on there. I'm going to go ahead and put these on for you guys, give you guys a better look. Um, and if you guys like these, I'll go ahead and put a link down below and you guys can check them out for yourselves. Be right back. I'm going to show you guys the car with the body off and I'm going to show you guys the car with the body on. Uh, so you guys get an idea of kind of what it's at. So let me go ahead and flip the camera around. So there it is. Um, excuse the background. This is on my kitchen table right now. Cause like I said, I don't have everything set up, but that looks good with our, uh, big fatty tires on the LCG chassis. I don't like it to be right on the ground. I like, you know, on that launch, you're gonna wanna have a little bit of that, right? But I like where it's sitting. Excuse the shaky video, guys. I'm, this is on my phone too. Um, but let me get that body on for you guys real quick. So here it is with our Ford F100 lid on. Check it out. I definitely like the way it looks. Um, I haven't tested it out yet, so this is just an unboxing and install video So you're not gonna get a full-on idea of what this is gonna do, but this will give you kind of the gist of it and that's uh, RC racing innovations right there, so Make sure you guys stay tuned for the NPRC video because that's where I'm gonna be testing this out Because I don't have time to test it before race day because it's in two days. So just stay tuned guys um, NPRC is gonna be this Sunday. It's Friday night right now. I literally so if you guys have seen all of my unboxing videos, I have not tested this truck. I've gone on Castle Link. I've got it all up to where I think it's going to be. And we're just going to roll the dice and go uh, on race day. Um, but like I said, if you guys like this, check out rcracinginnovations.com. Steve's a really nice guy. He's more than willing to help you out. Um, and it's for the price, guys. 25 bucks at the time of this filming. You can't beat that. The Traxxas one, um, 12, 15 bucks, right? So for $10 more, you get a little bit extra length, a little bit better quality, um, and a little bit better looks, to be honest. That's kind of the main reason I really liked it. But like I said, if you guys want your own, link is gonna be down, in, down below. Make sure you guys stay tuned. More RC videos to come. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And if that's gonna be all, then uh, peace.